Hello everybody, Wild Tracker here, and welcome, welcome to another episode here on the new Eador server. Yes, we are playing some more 1.10 Minecraft, and you join me here because, uh, well, I want to show you off this path over here in a moment, just to uh, just to your right hand side. But before I do, I just want to say thank you so much for all your comments and suggestions on the previous video for names of the animals and we shall be doing that later on so uh, yeah keep watching and we shall be doing that so uh, but I want to show this off this is the path basically leading over to the projects area as you can see it comes down here by uh, Scopper Skid's house that's his house there and Puddy's house is just over in that direction and then we've brought this path along here uh, it goes down past here, past a cow farm here somewhere. Um, I can hear them. They're, they're underground somewhere. I think he's changed it. But anyway, uh, it comes down here, past all his reeds, and down into the projects area where we've got all our various different projects. And as you can see over here, we have um, a new project we've just finished building. And yes, this is basically the rally stage. And if you look really closely here, who have we got? We've got the Stig! Yes, the Stig is driving a rally car. So uh, this is, uh, yeah, just a little something to represent the rally stage we've got going on. Uh, I say we've got the Stig in there and just a bit of decoration going around, very similar to what we've got before. We've got some uh, lights hidden underneath these uh, carpet areas. And then uh, we've got a kind of sort of five, four, three, two, one, go kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I think we've got that there just to represent what's going on and then in the chest here we've got uh, a book which talks about the rally stage and basically how people can come and help because this, I've kind of turned it into a managed project so uh, yeah the other guys you want to come over and help me build some quarry stuff some buildings some farms some tractors whatever you want uh, get in touch now the other thing that I have done in between episodes is put this little portal in here which is to the rally track so as much as I enjoy flying over to the rally track and it's, it's close enough to do that so some of the other guys weren't quite sure where it was so I thought I'd put this easy path so they can come and find it and this portal when it comes out will bring us out right at the top here of the mountain and we get a really good view of the track this is where the start is going to be so yeah we'll, we'll have this as where the portal is the finish is going to be down here um, just below this bit so we'll have a quick way of coming back up here if people want to come along um, but yeah that's where the portal is and obviously uh, this is where our little hut is so um, we're gonna have some fun today because I've been getting a few things together. Yes, look at all that TNT. Uh, I think it's time to have a little fun with some TNT to tut, to tut, to start building out some of the, the track. So if we look at our map, uh, where are we? We're there. So the track comes around here. And this area here, I want to make into our quarry area. So uh, the route at the moment, as you can see, comes around this bottom area and around there. So I want it to pass through the quarry. And then we're going to have an alternate route at some point, which will go around the quarry, into the quarry. And then it will come out of this mountain here through some caves and actually go alongside the river tunnel that comes along here from spawn so it'll then go side by side for that tunnel and come out there at the finish so that's an alternative uh, and that might actually join on with an alternative that comes down here past the farmhouse and that way so there's, there's quite a few alternatives we're planning but as the main track that we're building is going to go through this quarry I thought that would be a good area to start getting things done so let's sleep the night away and let's have some fun with TNT
definitely made a big hole. That was a lot of fun with the TNT. Some of it went other places it shouldn't have, but I can't see too much damage. I think they've possibly blown up in the air, but um, yeah, we've got a little bit of leakage here from this water, but that's okay. We can make a feature out of that, but we've got rid of most of the, the blocks we want to get rid of. This height here is the maximum height we can go down if we're going to meet the road that comes around there and around here with the other side so i've just kept that there as a reminder but when we bring that road down it's going to come across i can't even walk up here it's going to come across the top there and yeah we might have lost a little bit you probably noticed i fell down because all that got blown up as we're doing it but it's going to come down so one bit's going to go through there on the other side the other bit is going to come round here and through the quarry so um yeah just really need to know where that level is for future reference so that's what that is there for what i do really need to do is clear some more of this out and i think what i'm probably going to do is is possibly not clear out as much might get rid of some of those center bits um but i just need to sort of make this formation around the edge a little bit better you can see we put pillars there before but we're going to make it completely stone going all the way down so i'm going to get on with that so we can then start taking the track round to the next uh next area as you can see over there we have been doing some work on that uh quarry road and uh, building it up and we're going to have a look at that but what i wanted to do i've been putting some ice in here at the top as well because that was missing i want to have a little trial run down to that section over there so we've got to come around the hilltop underneath through the hilltop itself through the cave and then out over here and along to there so i'm going to see how easy <clears throat> or hard this rally circuit really is so um now the thing about rallying is you don't want to be going full speed all the time because uh, you, you you spin around and yeah it's it's slippery and you can end up actually crashing quite a lot so and I'm doing that slowly as well not all the barriers are in place as well so I don't really want to go over the edge if I can help it um, but yeah I think it's a case of getting the rhythm up turn too early there uh, handbrake turn okay and then along here through this section oh, off and, and you can see how much we slow down when we come off the ice and so when we're off the actual road we do slow down quite a lot uh, and then we can get some real speed up on the straights not too much turn early before you come off which is actually quite good to have these runoff areas because it they kind of slow you down before you go too far which is quite handy and then into this top section here this bit again it slows you down as you get too far over there and then we're through so yeah that's pretty good it's not bad um, I think it takes a little bit of practice to get used to. Uh, we've got this by the way because this is going to be another little route. We might just do a sort of a, a twist round and back into the quarry this way. Um, so that would be pretty good. Let's have a look at it from this side so you can see how it's looking. But yeah, I think that's looking pretty good for a quarry road across the top. I've used the metal fences going across there, the railings. And then underneath we've actually got cobblestone fences where the overhang is so it kind of acts as a support when we've got overhangs and obviously i've used the smooth diorite and then down the bottom here you can see we've started to uh, amass our blocks that are coming out of this quarry so that's something we'll probably do when we decorate this we'll have some piles of blocks ready to come out of the quarry we're going to have a crane lifting them out and i might even put a crane on there and what i'm thinking is uh actually having where this quarry has been taken out of and put a little dock down here and it might be just in that little section there i don't know if you know or not i mean i've um there's a there's a place up in north wales uh in the uk right on the coast and there's a road that cover, goes all the way along the coast in the uk and it's called the a55 it's a road that travels from uh, Liverpool across to Holyhead, across the top of the, the uh, North Wales coast. But as you go through a village called Penman Mower, there is quarries and they quarry the Welsh stone and the quarry is right next to the sea and often you'll see the ships come right into the shore next to the road and the railway line and they simply transport all the stone coming out the quarry straight onto the boats and then take them away. So we might do that, we might put some barges down there and if we put a big crane on the top of there perhaps that's something that lifts them up then swings around and places them on the boat so uh, that would be really cool so again 
if any of the guys here on the server want to help out building some of these uh, bits and pieces then uh, yeah please do and likewise for the top of there we are probably going to end up having a building on the top again it's it's back from my sort of days that I, time I spent in North Wales Snowdonia the uh, highest mountain in England and Wales is basically it's got a, a building at the top of it which is a cafe and a you know that sort of thing for all the mountaineers when they get at the top there and for the top of the railway that climbs to the top of Snowdon um, so I think it'd be quite cool to have some kind of building on there where we start our races in which would be pretty cool so uh, yeah but really happy Addis is progressing widen this up a little bit so we'll probably just uh, end up sort of putting some of this here uh, rather than fences I want to try and avoid having fences if I can um, I want to naturally slow uh, the vehicles so if they're coming off here and they're going to sort of you know slide wide they'll slide wide and you can control it still rather than you know going off and having to get out your vehicle and set it back on the road using spectators or whatever so it's uh, yeah we haven't quite got that here so um, but yeah really happy how this is coming along as you can see we've done a little bit more decorating now we've put some fields up in here I've tried to sort of um, put rows of plants. I'm not quite sure whether I like the wheat. I might change that over for carrot, just so the green leaves are the same, but it's slightly different underneath to give us the impression of uh, rows. But uh, I want to see how that looks. We haven't actually got any carrots over here, so I'll have to go and get those. I've been putting some coarse dirt round as well. And actually, something I learned, which I never knew, is you can turn coarse dirt dirt back into normal dirt just by hoeing it and then if you hoe it again obviously it comes turns into yeah it sort of it it's didn't realize you could actually hoe that back to normal dirt which is pretty pretty cool if you need to do that um yeah put the old pumpkin down there we've got a few scarecrows scattered amongst them so uh get some more leather for those and i've started sort of thinking about the alternative route that might be coming through here so if we look down here I've put in an archway so this is a way for the farmer over there to get through to his crops on the other side so that's working out pretty well and then further over on this far side I've been working on the normal track over there so that would come out from over here and let's go around and have a look at it from this side so yeah they come shooting out that tunnel there and this will be one of three options for them once they get down here so Let's just get up here a bit and fill that in. Uh, so when they come off there, they will come down, come down, and they will either go the main route, which is this way. They could do a U-turn and back underneath into the quarry, as we discussed earlier. Or there's also a tight left turn here, which brings them out in this direction, which is a slightly higher track than that one. So, um, and I've just linked through together those two water. We'll probably do something with it at some point. But it needs to be slightly higher track because this is the one that's going to lead through that tunnel. Whilst this track I've been uh, working on is the main route that we've always had. So, uh, I've used the hay bales here. This is kind of like the farmer sticking in all his hay bales up, hay bales up in the corner and we're kind of using them to form a chicane. Going to come around here and then this carries on then round the rest of the track. And you can see that route goes through there and the main track comes this way and I've run out of ice as well which uh, I need to go and get some more from the ice spikes so yeah this is going to come through here and that's going to give us an option as well if we wanted to this track could either come through here and then out that way or we could move the hay bales and again it could drop down this way so you know we've got already uh, probably about nine or ten different tracks just by changing a few different things we can make the tracks different so it's not a case of people learning the track completely and um, they will have to learn all the tracks and all the combinations and things like that as well uh, and then that's why we bring it back in underneath there so yeah got loads done which is pretty cool really happy with how that's looking and if you come in here and have a look on the map you can see that's really started to come now so we've got this bit going around the top comes in through the mountain out the other side through the woods across the big uh, viaduct then comes around into the quarry through the quarry through the hay bale chicane and then you see the two different routes that are, are possible going across there and that route's going to carry on around that way this route's going to carry on around this way and then round here to the finish so uh, and then of course we've got the alternative route through the quarry which will then either drop off the top 
and round this way or likewise through that little sort of uh, underneath and back on itself and then that's going to take itself through a series of caves and that way um, so yeah that, that could be completely different which uh, which might be good fun or we could link it up to there as well so yeah it's really starting to come into a sort of a multi-stage venue um, starting to look pretty good on the map as well now earlier on guys we said we are going to name these animals in fact you you guys name these animals so um, I've got some name tags I have gone through the list um, I, I apologize if I couldn't include all the names there was quite a lot of awesome names there uh, I've actually created one new dog um, in fact I created two but ignore him over there um, yes yeah, so I've created an extra dog just to incorporate some of the names so there were some really really cool names that one I really liked wild tracker I well I think it was just tracker but I kind of butchered it a little bit and and called it wild tracker and that was from diamond greg so thanks diamond greg for uh coming up with that or give me the suggestion on there so there's wild tracker so I think that's really really fitting for a dog um so let's have a look at the next one fur yeah so this was done by crater um who actually came with a few different names I believe so there we go, fur, I think that's very fitting for a dog. Um, there's Freezer Pick, so we'll say hello to him in a minute. And Twig, that was another one, and that was done by Twig um, Dunkelveld, I think is uh, the correct pronunciation. Sorry if I've butchered your name there, but thank you very much for that suggestion. I thought, even though it's your name, Twig is very fitting because dogs chase sticks and Twig. So, yeah, I, I like it, I like it. And the next one I've got... Einstein, yes, so JH came up with this one. I thought dogs, very intelligent creatures. So, uh, yeah, Einstein, very fitting. And the last dog we are going to create is called Wizard. And this was uh, named by Sini. I think that's how you say your name. So, thanks again for that. And then we've got one more here, which is for the horse. And. I thought it was uh, quite good. We have a little bit of conversation about this, but again, it's by Diamond Greg, and it's basically assassin is wrong. That that is totally wrong. It's assassin in blue. Oh my gosh, how did I get that wrong? I uh, let me go and change that name. There we go, assassin in blue. Awesome. Um, and we do have um, one more name tag, and it's it's for this little guy. If I can get to see him in the corner, and uh, if I can get through my door uh, yeah this little guy here because one of the members on the server was a little bit cheeky coming up with a name first of all he wanted to call them all Dougie Doug Dugs and then hilariously came up with a name of Doggy Dog Dog so we're gonna name this one Doggy Dog Dog but Doggy Dog Dog you're coming with me um, and and you, you maybe you'll teleport to me in a second um, yeah, so doggy, doggy, dog, dog, you you need to walk this way, because I I thought for being so cheeky, there he is, for being so cheeky and um, coming up with this title, um, I I I think we should go and put doggy, dog, dog, and give him to doggy, dog, dog, and we'll sit him down in his house, which means he won't be able to actually move him because only I can make him sit up and stand down and all that kind of thing as well so uh, yeah now the thing is Dougie is actually on at the moment um, so let's go and deliver him see if he actually left there there he is there look so it hit his his Dougie Doug Doug it's probably a good place to leave him actually so um, I'll give him a little tap we'll say hello there he is oh the dog's dog's now attacking sit sit there, there we go <laughs> See ya. <laughs> so we're going to leave him there now. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, that is all we've got time for today, unfortunately. Hopefully you've enjoyed that episode. Thanks for all your suggestions on the animals. Uh, that was truly awesome. We'll have to come up with some kind of Hall of Fame for you guys so we can... Uh, put your name on the server forever uh, but I do appreciate it and I appreciate all those likes you keep putting on those videos so keep doing that uh, really do appreciate it and we'll see you here next time on the new Reador server thanks for watching bye for now bye bye bye